Shrue from SOWORKS. And I'm Aarti from ThoughtWorks. And we're going to talk about development environment set up with Vagrant. So let me give you an example from my own experience. Uh, some months back, I was working on a large scale application in a, as part of a very big team. And we faced three issues predominantly. Number one, what worked on my computer didn't work on my friend's computer. And number two, the QAs always complained that we were giving them broken code. And number three, the project manager started losing trust in us. And why was this happening? The project was very big, which means we had a lot of external dependencies. A Dep lot of dependencies means a lot of versions, which means the permutation and combinations of these versions and de these dependencies means potentially every, de every developer can have their own unique development environments. For example, someone used Apache, someone used Nginx. I I'm sure you get the picture. So what we wanted was one development environment which can be repeatable and shareable across all developers in the team. So what did we do? We used Vagrant. I'm guessing most of you would have already heard of Vagrant, but still. Uh, Vagrant is a software which is written in Ruby. It's an open source software. It can be used to run on a, it can be used on a virtual machine like VMware, VirtualBox, or Amazon EC2. So what we can do is use a tool like Puppet, Chef, or, uh, or Ansible to actually provision our, our code on these machines. So Shuei will actually explain and show us a demo. Take it up. OK, let me show you uh, how we can use Vagrant to set up our machine to have a development environment. To use Vagrant, basically we need Vagrant and VirtualBox to be installed in our machine. And then we just need to import the base box and then run Vagrant up. We will have a VirtualBox running our machine. But in order to have an environment for project development, we still need to write our own configurations so that we are able to have a customized box for the development. So here is the project and um, the configuration I'm using for, for this purpose. And here, here is the uh, background file I write for for a project for Ruby development. In this file, I'm using a puppet. Uh, I'm, I'm using a preset box as a base box. I'm forwarding port three thousand, and also I'm uh, using uh, I'm supporting a file, file synchronization. But this is not enough. We still need to automate the process of installing different tools like RVM and Ruby. So I'm also uh, I'm using some provisioners that Vagrant is supporting. Vagrant is supporting multiple provisioners, for example, the Chef, Puppy, and also Docker. And here I'm using Puppy modules to install them. And here, here is the Puppy, uh, Puppy script I write. In this script, I'm installing RVM, Ruby, Rails, and all the other installations automatically. So after I get all this uh, configuration ready, I'm able to have my VirtualBox running in my machine. And this one, I already have a box running here. Yeah, here, here is my box running here. I already have a box running. And also, I already checked out my uh, sample project inside my, uh, inside my folder. And this one is a Ruby project. So now I can access it into my box. As I mentioned before, my box is supporting file synchronization. This means I, I'm able to have my project running, uh, project, I, I'm able to modify my project inside my box, uh, inside my local machine, and then I'm able to run it within the box. So now I can easily assess the same file as what I can see in my local machine. And here is my real project, and then start running the server. And now I can see it. Yeah, it works. So now uh, I already, I think you already have an idea how background can help us to ben uh, 
help, can simplify the process of all the installations. Firstly, it, or we only need to have a configuration file so that background can help us to do all the installation automatically. And this configuration file is able to be shared among the team so that all the team members can have the same settings and also, it doesn't require much technical knowledge, so all the team members, uh, including people like testers and, and tester designers and project owners, are able to have their box running and can see their project uh, locally. And what's more, a, for background, we know it's written in Ruby, so it can be quite flexible. We can always write our own Ruby gems and use them as plugins for background. So uh, I, I think after I think after you start using it, you will explore more benefit easily. Thanks, Shuwei. If you want to see our sample lab or the code that we have written, you can find it over here. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, please feel, feel free to write us on those email IDs. Thank you.